Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, My Intuition. I am Dr. Prasad Putilam. Continue my class series on Biology for Engineers with subject code 21DE45, which is common to all the four semester engineering branches of Visheshwaraya Technological University, Karnataka, Belagam, Belagam, Karnataka. Okay, so I am on to the third chapter now. That means the third module, uh, two modules complete class including the pdf note available in the description box it is already available in my youtube channel please do subscribe first then uh, share the video to your friends so that it will get benefited they, at least they will get the notes okay so uh, point one uh, the, the first topic under uh, the module three human organ system and bio design bio designs part two that is lung as a purification system so we know already this was just uh, I'm reminding you that uh, when we uh, inhale exhale our respiratory system when we inhale uh, along with that air uh, oxygen also enters on our lung that oxygen will be uh, given to the blood stream uh, through the alveoli gas exchange system we'll see in detail later alveoli gas exchange system will uh, transfer the oxygen uh, uh, to the uh, to the bloodstream and the bloodstream will go to the pump the heart as the pump the pump uh, the heart will pump that blood uh, oxygenated blood uh, oxygenated blood it will be transferred uh, or passed to, to the entire uh, body system so here we can see uh, the oxygen is taken same time uh, carbon dioxide is also taken back uh, to in the lung during that time at the organs, the different parts of the organ, there are so uh, we call it as capillary gas exchange. Capillary gas exchange takes place in which uh, the oxygen is taken up by the organs and uh, carbon dioxide organ as well as cells. And the carbon dioxide is it, it is given back and uh, it goes through the venous uh, veins. Um, uh, the oxygenated blood goes through the arteries and uh, the non-oxygenated or carbon dioxide containing blood we call it as veins veins so it will come back to the heart it will pump uh, to the lung system in the lung system the uh, oxygen the uh, blood uh, which containing the carbon dioxide it will be taken up taken out and oxygen will be filled the uh, carbon dioxide will be exhaling out so this is the general uh, simple mechanism a very simple uh, complicated actually very complicated mechanism of uh, trans gas exchange in our uh, uh, our body system okay so lung as a purifier the lung purifies air by removing harmful substances and adding oxygen to the bloodstream the process of purifying air in lungs can be described as follows like a filtration uh, the nose and mouth itself serve as the first line of defense against harmful substances in the air such as the dust particle dirt particle or bacteria the tiny hairs present in our nose called cilia and the mucus produced by the respiratory system it will trap these substances and prevent them from entering to the lung moisturization the air which is entering our uh, through the nostril it will uh, go through the lining uh, that respiratory tract there it will be get moisturized or humidized the water content will be added to that uh, with the air is also humidified up as it passes over the moist lining of the respiratory tract which help to keep the airways moist and prevent them from drying out gas exchange takes place uh, that already I explained uh, once the air reaches the uh, alveoli the gas exchange process occurs where the oxygen diffuses across the thin alveolar uh, capillary walls and capillary walls into the bloodstream and carbon dioxide diffuses in the opposite direction uh, so that what i explained already architecture of lung as purifier system uh, Architecture it shows the, the air passage we call it as trachea, uh, bronchia, bronchioli, and uh, the tip of that um, bronchioli that is alveolus, and uh, there are uh, ribs, ribs covering the lung, uh, the lung as such it is represented here, and the bottom there is a diaphragm, the movement of diaphragm, uh, uh, up and down movement of diaphragm makes us to breathe and breathe out. Okay, so the architecture is given trachea. Trachea it is the main uh, airway that leads from the voice box to the lungs. Uh, we call it as larynx. Voice box to the lung. It is 
lined with cilia and uh, mucus uh, secreting uh, glands which help them to filter out the harmful substances and trap them in the uh, mucus then uh, bronchi 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 is presented here bronchus alas bronchi or this tubing this passage ways poltas bronchi uh, bronchi the trachea branches into two main bronchi one for each lung the bronchi are uh, larger airways that can continue to branch into smaller airways called bronchioles bronchioles further uh, will be surrounded by small or tiny air sacs air bags called alveoli which are the sites for gas exchange the gas exchange takes place at the alveoli gas exchange means carbon dioxide oxygen exchange takes place alveoli are sm smiley uh, they are tiny air sacs that lined with the network of capillaries um, and uh, where the exchange takes place so overall architecture it is given here now the gas exchange mechanism why the gas exchanges air uh, that oxygen uh, goes to the blood stream uh, the carbon dioxide from blood stream uh, come to come to our lung and it exhales out okay that is due to the uh, pressure difference partial pressure of oxygen and partial pressure of carbon dioxide so oxygen diffusion the partial pressure of oxygen in the air in the alveoli is higher than that of the partial pressure of oxygen in the blood stream this difference creates a gradient which causes oxygen to diffuse from alveoli to the blood stream where it binds to hemoglobin in the red blood cell to form oxyhemoglobin carbon dioxide in the reverse case uh, the partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the blood stream is uh, higher than the partial pressure of uh, carbon dioxide in the air in the alveoli the difference creates a gradient which causes carbon dioxide to diffuse out from the blood stream in the alveoli uh, now uh, spirometry spirometry it is a device which is used to 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 help uh, uh, to identify any uh, breathing issues okay that it is a test which really conduct to check the presence of uh, asthma chronic uh, obstructive pulmonary disease or that's COPD and uh, uh, interstitial lung disease etc the principle behind that uh, it is uh, measured by volume of air which can be exhaled from the lung the capacity potential of a person to exhale how much uh, air can be exhaled by measuring the volume of air exhaled this parameter can provide information about the functioning of lung and the ability of lung to move air in and out okay so a spirometer measurement device is given a schematic representation it is an image as such okay so working spirometry it is uh, performed using a spirometer which consists of a mouthpiece, a flow sensor, a volume sensor. The patient will be asked to exhale as much air as possible into the spirometer and the spirometer measures the volume and flow rate of the exhaled air. The volume of air exhaled is displayed on a graph called the flow volume loop which provides information about the lung function. That means you are forced to blow air, exhale, exhale air what possible, just like blowing a balloon. How potential we can uh, blow that much uh, if more air we can exhale out uh, that means our lung is working uh, good uh, if very less air is going out means uh, something uh, issue is there with our lung that is how it is measured the results are interpreted uh, uh, the results of can be used to determine if the lung are functioning normally and to diagnose less uh, the lung condition a decrease in the volume of air exhaled or a decrease in the flow rate of exhaled air it can indicate uh, some of the diseases like asthma or COPD. Now abnormal uh, lung uh, physiology uh, okay, is represented that uh, trachea, bronchia, bronchioli. A healthy lung uh, in which the alveoli is very functional, very working whereas uh, some of the uh, alveoli if, if, it, uh, if it have any collapsed airway, some blockage is there or the alveoli itself collapse, they combine joint together or uh, loses its strength or some uh, block uh, like a mucus inside the uh, that uh, trachea as a bronchi bronchiolis uh, or becoming its narrow or tightening uh, the muscle become tightening uh, we call it as like a, uh, emphysema or uh, bronchitis uh, these are the different uh, terms that you have heard about the lung disease or COPD okay so abnormal lung disease uh, abnormal lung uh, physiology refers to the any deviation from the 
normal functioning of the respiratory system due to various factors like uh, injuries or uh, genetic condition uh, some of them the names are asthma uh, chronic uh, uh, obstructive pulmonary disease pulmonary fibrosis pneumonia uh, pulmonary embolism lung cancer etc okay so the description is given here treatment uh, of abnormal lung uh, physiology uh, it depends upon the underlying causes and may include uh, medications lifestyle changes even surgery so it is very important to seek the prompt medical attention if we experience any such symptoms of breath wheezing chest pain etc we need to consult a, a doctor a health uh, specialist COPD uh, it's a group of progressive lung diseases which causes breathing difficulties uh, in COPD airways and small air sacs uh, the lung become damaged or blocked leading to difficulty in uh, exhaling air the primary causes are uh, tobacco smoking uh, pollution in the air dust too much dust particle in the air uh, or uh, including a history of frequent lung infections family history of lung diseases these are the possible way of getting a COPD to a person. There is no cure for COPD as such, but treatment can help manage the symptoms and slow the progress of the disease. Severe cases of operation are needed. Ventilators are the medical devices which is used to assist or control that breathing difficulties in individuals who are unable to breathe or adequately on their own. Uh, commonly used in treatment of acute respiratory failure okay so some of the uh, one of the ventilator machine it is represented here you might have seen and uh, you might have seen now it is everything uh, it is you have youtube uh, channel we have movies and how it will show so you can see so this is one of the ventilator machine uh, simply represented here not how it working and are not mentioned air will go inside uh, to the pressurized air will go so that uh, forcing the lung to take more air and exhaled uh, air will come out okay so there are different type of ventilators uh, like volume controlled ventilator pressure controlled ventilator and by level positive uh, airway pressure devices okay so it by delivering pressurized air or oxygen into the lungs through a breathing tube or mask the pressure can be adjusted in these are our uh, life saving uh, devices okay we are, but we need to monitor the working of ventilator continuously by a healthcare professional only has to monitor it now heart lung machine a heart lung machine also called as a cardio pulmonary bypass machine it is a device which is used in uh, cardiovascular surgery to temporarily take over the function of heart and lung that means if a major operations like a heart operation and all if it is there then we have to stop the uh, working of uh, the heart when stop working of heart means uh, when again the heart it will connect to the lung therefore a heart lung machine has some temporary uh, setup is required which will do the function of the heart as well as lung that we call as a heart lung machine which is there in almost all the hospital where they are getting doing the heart operations so the heart lung machine works by circulating blood outside the body through a series of tubes and pumps blood is taken from the body oxygenated and then returned to the body what the lung uh, heart uh, doing the function that the same function the heart lung uh, machine has to do while they uh, doing the coronary artery bypass graft surgery and all okay the use of a heart lung machine uh, is during surgery okay so schematically represented here how it is done now. so the function now to be done by this uh, heart that is done by taking uh, the blood stream blood to a separate blood reservoir then it is pumped to the and then it is oxygenated uh, added the required uh, gas to that uh, heat exchange is done uh, cooling heating process also done then it is uh, pumped back to the body stream okay so while doing the operation to that heart okay so additionally there may be some long term effect of body like uh, cognitive decline uh, which is not yet fully understood by the health uh, experts however use of heart lung machine it is, uh, it is revolutionized in the field of uh, cardiovascular surgery allowing for more complex procedure to be performed and greatly improving patient, patient outcomes
that about the heart lung machine artificial lung itself okay artificial lungs are devices which are designed to mimic the function of a natural respiratory system ARDS that is um, uh, acute respiratory distress syndrome or uh, acute lung injury ALI to help the patient uh, pay own lungs recover the heal till uh, uh, the lung heal or uh, get recovered uh, we have to get the help of artificial lung there are two types like a membrane oxygen generator so a membrane oxygen generator is represented here okay so the blood with uh, uh, venous reservoir it is taken and it is pumped and uh, 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 in fluids uh, everything is required uh, content are added to that uh, uh, blood stream then it is pumped and pumped to a membrane oxygenator where oxygen is added to that uh, blood stream and it goes to through a pump warm the to get the required blood uh, temperature you know our blood is uh, having a bit warm warmth is needed for blood then it is taken back to the left ventricles of the heart okay so uh, the membrane uh, oxygenator there are devices which use a semi permeable membrane to transfer oxygen and carbon dioxide between the blood and the air blood is pumped through the membrane where it comes into contact with the air allowing for the exchange of gas, gas exchange reaction takes place carbon dioxide will be taken out and oxygen will be added and it is pumped to, to the bio system second one that is extra corporeal uh, lung assist device or actually we call it as a extra corporeal membrane oxygenator ECMO okay so there are two types of ECMO in which uh, if it is uh, venous to venous taken from uh, vein and connected back to vein that is venous to venous or taken from uh, venous and uh, vein and connected to the arterial uh, bloodstream that is uh, veno arterial so two types are there okay so both are same doing the same function it, uh, blood is taken out and it is purified and given back to the body system so two types are there one is membrane uh, oxygen generator the other one is uh, uh, extra corporeal uh, membrane oxygen generator okay the exact difference and i don't know so the schematically it is represented where the membrane gas exchange takes place like this and i think there are two types uh, like uh, VVECMO and uh, VAECMO oh that's about uh, this particular topic uh, so we reached for the artificial lung so i think uh, no much complications seen in this uh, particular topic a very good topic uh, that is uh, lung as purification system hope you understood uh, the study material the pdf form the same word file converted pdf form the link uh, will be available in the description box of my youtube channel uh, my intuition uh, so once again requesting to subscribe my youtube channel like button share button everything don't forget i'm signing out dr prasad